this your king? Huh? Is this your king? Shalom, all praises go to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Basham Yahweh Shai, Basham Yahweh double honor unto the apostles, the elders of Great Millstone, that rule well, and that taught us his truth, among many other things, and salutations to the sincere Achim out there that be doing the work, man. And waking up the hopeful elect within the so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, the true Hebrew Israelites that the Bible speaks of, man. We need to come back into our power and know that this place. Is coming to an end, which you you know you saw the president of uh, you know Sodom in Egypt, you know spiritually so called, you know Babylon. You saw that guy tripping up three times, man. That that guy is true, man. Like this, like the title said, man, from the the elder brother, you know, from GMS, uh, uh, come get this work. You saw the channel, but the video was hilarious, man. You saw the devil, uh, you know, slipping uh, down the stairs. You know, he tried to jog up like he's. Uh, you know, in tip-top shape, but the guys, uh, you know, in his, uh, you know, 70s up there, you know, somewhere up there. So he, he tried to come across as a guy that is uh, top, tip, in tip-top shape, but, you know, you can front all you want, man. But this, you know, this just symbolizes the downfall of Babylon, man, and that's just what it is. You know, this place is going to be put down because it's ruled by the wicked, you know, so... Their own wickedness will be recompensed upon their own head, man. They're going to be judged. Yahweh Shai is coming back to, you know, uh, smite the statue in his feet, man. So this place is destined to be destroyed, man. Thus say the Bible. And when Yahweh Shai comes back, it's, it's going to be a wrap, man. That's just what it is. It's not going to be any uh, messing around. It's just plain judgment, straight up judgment. And these devils are going to be in trouble. And the two-thirds of our people... You know, are going to be in trouble as well, man. So, let me just uh, go uh, in it. You saw what the, the devil uh, <laughs> so just uh, showed that right there. He trying to front, but it ain't going to work. You know, I wanted to get into this, the statue, you know, the ten toes. You see that, uh, you know, this world is divided. You know, the EU is divided. You see that uh, people come up with Brexit and all types of things, and they all have their own plans. So by the will of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, man, this whole thing is destined to be destroyed. You know, the the the, the rock that is formed without hands is gonna smite the statue right in the feet, and it's gonna make it to uh, be destroyed. It's gonna uh, make it fall down, man, and it's gonna be a wrap right there. It's gonna be the kingdom that is uh, next. So I wanted to go into a few uh, scriptures, uh, Psalm. Uh, 73, you know, fitting scripture. <laughs> Let me just jump to uh, the point. Because, you know, this script, uh, this, uh, if you read a little bit up, you know, you're living in this wicked world and the, the thought can come in your mind like, you know, you're doing right, and you see all the wicked, you know, prospering in their ways. You know, so what is the use of uh, of, uh, of of bettering yourself if you see the uh, the wicked are that that are you know doing all types of uh, abominable things and they're being set up and really nothing is happening unto them they're just prosperous and uh, they get riches but that's not the right spirit to be in because you don't know what is uh, happening behind closed doors you know the heavenly father surely won't let these people go you know the wicked are preserved. Uh, for the for the day of destruction, man. So you shouldn't worry about what the Heavenly Father is doing. And I read the scripture in my previous video. Like the Heavenly Father is chastising us because He loves us. And with the uh, with the heathens, He just let them do their thing so that their sins will stack up, and the Heavenly Father will judge them according to all their wickedness to, and according to their iniquity, man. So you should be happy that you're not in the in the place that these uh, devils are in. They might have riches. But that's also their consolation. If you, as a Jake, you know, you uh, want to be rich and you receive your riches, that's your consolation, man. And the consolation goes into basically, uh, that's not really the first prize, man. 
the surprise that you get for basically your, your, your uh, you know, just to uh, make you feel a little bit better. Here's something, uh, you know, for your, uh, you know, to get you a little bit up in, uh, I wanna, don't even want to say it like that, up in spirit, but uh, to get you uh, to feel a little bit better, even though you're in a, in a, in a messed up situation. But verse uh, 18 of Psalm 73 and 18, surely thou didst set them in slippery places. So surely thou didst set them in slippery places. Thou castest them down into destruction. And that is what these devils are going to go through. They're going to be destroyed. So don't worry about these devils because now, you know, they, 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 they are prospering and all that type of stuff. Well, don't worry about that, man. You see the devil going going down. You know, they might have riches, but they don't have Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. That is true wealth. You know, we are investing in the best invest uh, investment that you can invest in, man. It is eternal life, Yahweh and to rule over your enemy. Look, this devil has everything he desires. You know, like the scripture says here, you know, their eyes stand up with fatness. They have more than heart could wish, you know. So, if you think about that, you know, let me just um, read it, Psalm 73 and 7. Their eyes stand out with fatness. They have more than heart could wish. They are corrupt and speak wickedly concerning oppression. They speak loftily. They set their mouth against the heavens and their tongue walk through the earth. They go, they have everything they want, man. Their eyes stand out with fatness. Like in the cartoons, you know, people that are eating too much, that are covetous and... Uh, yeah, gluttons, you know, their eyes stand out, you know, popping out, you know, all fat, looking all weird as hell, but they ain't healthy. In the spirit, they are sick. These devils are sick. They are not upright, and they're proud, man. And that pride is going to lead them to their destruction because, you know, the, the, the pride of their heart has deceived them, like the book of Obadiah says. And... If you think about it, they have all these big buildings, all these uh, fancy-ass cars, but people are out there that, that are able to uh, murder them, man. When we are going to rule, that's not going to be the case. You know, these devils stand no chance when we are set back as the righteous judges, you know, of the world to come, man, of the kingdom. These devils will be in full subjection. Every knee shall bow unto Yahweh Shai, man. Until Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. But let me jump into something else. So these people have a lot of things, but yet things can be stolen from them. You know, the things that we are investing in can be stolen, man. If you invest in the spiritual things, like in Matthew 6 and 19 on down. So um, let me jump into this. Uh, Revelation 18 and 1. And after these things, I saw another angel come down from heaven, having great power. And the earth was lightened with his glory. And he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, Babylon the great is fallen, is fallen. And it is become the habitation of devils and the hold of every foul spirit and cage of every unclean and hateful bird. So this place is bound to be destroyed, man. For all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication and the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her. And the merchants of the earth are wax rich through the abundance of her delicacies. Because, you know, a lot of countries uh, uh, are doing business uh, with America. But you're going to see that, and they, they believe in their philosophies, the American dream. You know, if you, if you can make it there, you can make it anywhere. But like the Apostle Gabar often says, you know, you have to be asleep to, <laughs> to, to believe in that uh, American dream. Or you, you are asleep, you know, if you believe in that, man. So, and I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that ye be not uh, partakers of her sins, and that ye receive not of her plagues. Because if you are the one that is, uh, you know, you want to be stuck on uh, that, that uh, Babylon juice and, uh, you know, on stupid, and invest in, uh, in, in your, your fleshly uh, desires, you're going to be destroyed right along with, the whole, uh, basically, uh, 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 country of America, man, that whole place will be made desolate 
you know, eradicated. You know, only hateful birds will be in there. Only, you know, it will be like a great desert. And if you are righteous in the eyes of Yahweh Basham and Yashai, you're going to be beamed up and you're going to see the destruction of these uh, devils and the ones that uh, cling on to them. And you're going to see the destruction of that whole uh, placement and the wicked. And the ones that are preserved to go into captivity you know, firsthand, they will crawl up in their, their uh, caves and, and, or in their bunkers underground and wherever they're going to hide. And they will be, you know, they will be grabbed out of that and will be put into chains, man. So all these people that are in high places, they have no bright future, man. Psalm 149 says that. Let me just jump in it. We have a lot of beautiful things to look forward to, man. Rest, you know, total peace, man. To have everything undefiled, your mind is not going to be fucked up concerning these, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, demons that attack you, all types of things, thoughts coming in your mind, you know, be, your flesh is messing with you, totally, uh, you know, uh, getting you uh, to, uh, you know, invest in, in, in the things of the flesh. That's going to be out the window, man. We're going to serve Yahweh Basham Yahushai in 100% righteousness, man. And that means 100% blessings. So, Psalm 149, verse, let me jump uh, to verse uh, 4. For the Lord taketh pleasure in his people, and he will beautify the meek with salvation. Let the saints be joyful in glory. Let them sing aloud upon their beds. Let the high praises of Yahweh, Basham Yahweh be in their mouth, and the two-edged sword in their hand, to execute vengeance upon the heathen, and punishment upon the people to bind their kings with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron to execute upon them the judgment written this honor hath all his saints praise ye the lord yahweh by so it's going to be beautiful man all their kings all their nobles are going to be put in chains man and that all that they stand for will be eradicated and nothing that has to do with their uh, uh creations you know in total wickedness will survive in the day of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, there will, there will not be any remainings of uh, of the creations of the wicked uh, of the wicked man. These people are going to go into into captivity, just like they did unto us. We're going to render double unto them, man. Like here it says, man, Revelation thirteen and ten: He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. And the saints are the Israelites, you know, who have a covenant with the Heavenly Father. So you will see Yahweh Desire, the downfall of this uh of, of this devil. Because Yahweh Shai said, some of uh you that are standing here will not uh taste of death, will not see death. You know, to roughly paraphrase what he said. So Yahweh Zah, we are of those men. We are of the, of the men that can see the downfall of our enemies and see the 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 you know see our Lord, our King Yahweh Shai returning. Man, that would be a beautiful thing. Of course, the righteous shall be scarcely saved. It's gonna be uh, a very dark day, but it's gonna be very uh, uh, pleasant to see your enemies fall. Why? Sirach twenty five verse seven. There be nine things which I have judged. In mine heart to be happy, and the tenth I will utter with my tongue. A man that a joy of his children, and he that liveth to see the fall of his enemy. So that is beautiful, according to the scriptures, to see the fall of your enemy, man. That's a very delightful thing to see your oppressor being being slaughtered. And being uh, put into chains. And Yahweh Desire, you know, <laughs> I'm going to put some of these devils into chains myself, man. You know, through the spirit of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. And rule over them with the rod of iron, man. Revelation 18, verse 5. Her sins have reached unto heaven, and Yahweh had remembered her iniquities. So the Most High, he is, he is checking them out, man. His eyes are upon the sinful kingdom. You know, so he sees that these devils are doing all types of wickedness. 
you know, having our people, you know, uh, selling our people, beating them down, castrating them, you know, raping our, our men, women, children, you know, selling us. You know, even until this day, we are still in captivity. These devils put us in the system. And according to the 13th Amendment, they can still put you into slavery when you are in prison, if you committed a crime. So these, these devils are planting all types of things on Jake and have him put up in the system so they can benefit off of their labor. So these devils are, are, are still doing all types of wickedness, man. Putting up sodomites. This is crazy, man. Let's check it, take a look at this, man. I was checking the Apostle Rakha and the, the Elder Ayatan, you know, and the, the Salah, I forgot the name of the, the other elder brother from GMS uh, ISAF 144. And they were speaking about that, that uh, Levine uh, character, which is a man, you know, a sodomite that, that has been uh, put in the cabinet of the devil, of uh, Biden. And there's a lot of sodomites put up in the in the in the in the in the cabinet, basically in the ruling uh, seat of America, and that shows you their spirit. That's a reflection of the devil's spirit, man. His spirit, which is lifted up, is not upright in him. You know, Habakkuk two and four. And if you take a look at this demon, here it is. Uh, Biden picks a doctor, Rachel Le uh, Levine, transgender woman. It's just a man with a legion of demons on him. Because or else you wouldn't do this shit, man. Rome, if Romans 1 speaks about that, uh, you know, you being just left to to be uh, consumed by all your lust, man. All your wickedness. Because it's not of the most high, man. People are going after their lust and doing all types of wickedness, man. Especially these devils. So here, as, as, as assistant... Health secretary in historic first, da 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 da, da. You, you, you know, you see, you know, uh, this is crazy, man. How can you put this, this is a, basically a banner for your, uh, uh, you know, <laughs> this is crazy, man. People, this is just, if you look at this, and this, you can't associate this with, uh, with perfect health. You know, mentally is already totally, uh, totally uh, immoral, whack. It is it's just totally uh, wicked. And concerning other things, this is not a good representation of uh, people. That's what I want to see say of being uh, uh, in in good health. Why would you put that responsibility in in the hands of a you know of of, of someone that is not right in their head? And the elder Yashawamba, he uh, came up with uh, this. You know, you see that these, these are all sodomites, man. And here, if I'm correct, is another uh, trans. Uh, come on, man. Another one here. It's lucky for the quality. I couldn't get you no know, better than Sarah McBride, Stephanie Breyers, you know, or binary people. So come on, man. Male and female created he them. Be fruitful and multiply. But no, Babylon, a.k.a. Sodom and Gomorrah, you know, spiritually Sodom and Egypt. Sodom was uh, one of the places that was destroyed for having, you know, a, a legion of Sodomites in it, man. That even wanted to get with the angels. Come on, man. And that is something that these people uphold as, you know, being uh, uh, very brave people. The hell out of here, man. That's why this place needs to go down, man. The whole world needs to be uh, cleansed, man, because that, that, as I read before, you know, all these uh, people have uh, been drinking on that Babylon juice, man. They're drunk. They're totally out of it, man. Thinking that this is something that you should uh, put on a pedestal. You should put it, this on the sword, man, on the edge of the sword. That's what, what you need to be doing with these people, man. Does say it the Bible. You know, you be, you, you're going to be put to death. You know, you know you're going to be stoned, man. Your blood shall be upon you. So basically, stone. Uh, you need to be stoned when you, you are a, a sodomite, man. And the edge of the sword represents death. So um, let me jump into uh, Revelation 18 again. 
Verse uh, 5, again, For his sins have reached unto heaven, and Yahweh had remembered her iniquities. Reward her even as she rewarded you, and double unto her, double according to her works. In the cup which she had filled, uh, so like in the cup which she had filled, filled to her double. So these devils made us to drink of uh, of this uh, of of this uh, of the, of the cup. You now they punished us and they uh, they uh, furthered their the the punishment. You know, like in the book of uh, Ezekiel speaks about it, man. And they're gonna be visited for that because we were supposed to be given into the hands uh, of our enemies for our iniquities, you know, to be punished, but not for our destruction. And these devils, they just uh, furthered the affliction. And the Heavenly Father, he saw everything, man. Verse 7, How much she had glorified herself and lived deliciously, so much torment and sorrow give her, for she said in her heart, I see the queen, and am no widow, and shall see no sorrow. Therefore shall plagues come in one day, death and mourning and famine, and she shall be utterly burned with fire. For strong is the Lord Yahweh who judged her. So this is what it is, man. And, you know, you can read the rest for yourself. Everything's going to be put to a stop, man. The music, everything, man, is going to be uh, put to a stop, man. So... In one hour, this whole place is going to be destroyed. Jeremiah 15 and 31. Behold, I am against thee, O thou most proud, said the Lord Yahweh of hosts. For thy day is come, the time that I will visit thee. The Most High is going to visit these demons, man. These devils that are ruling right now. And the most proud shall stumble and fall. <laughs> And the most proud shall stumble and fall, and none shall raise him up. And I will kindle a fire in his cities, and shall devour all round about him. So this devil is bound to be, uh, you know, destroyed and put down, man. And none shall be able to raise him up. Let me end it with this. Salahia. Isaiah 47. Verse 1. Come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon. Sit on the ground. There is no throne, O daughter of the Chaldeans. For thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate. So thou shalt no, be, no more be called tender and delicate. These devils... You know, they, they never have really been touched, but that's going to be changed in a, in a, in a very drastic, uh, uh, in a very drastic way, man. Take the millstones and grind meal, uncover thy locks, make bare the leg, uncover the tie, pass over the river, <clears throat> it's like, pass over the rivers. Thy nakedness shall be uncovered. Everyone knows who the devil is, man. Everyone knows, man. Like the, the, the other brother posted, is this the man that made, made the earth to tremble, basically? You know, he's nothing. Everyone will see him for what he is, man, like the Wizard of Oz. Uncover thy locks, make bare the leg, uncover the tie, pass over the rivers. Thy nakedness shall be uncovered. Yeah, thy shame shall be seen. I will take vengeance, and I will not meet thee as a man. When Yahweh Shai comes back, he's going to come with power, with his chariots. He's going to come with the sword to render judgment. You know, heads will will be flying off, man. And it's going to be a horrible day for the ones that are against the Heavenly Father and the Son, Yahweh, while Yahweh shy. And he's going to come with spiritual power, man. As for our Redeemer, the Lord, Yahweh of hosts is his name, the Holy One of Israel. So you see now that the one that is going to redeem us, Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, the holy, the, the most high man, when he comes back, is going to be a rap, man. Sit thou silent and get thee into darkness, O daughter of the Chaldeans. 
Because these, these people, man, they're all about witchcraft and all types of uh, wickedness, man. Chaldeans are witches and warlocks, man. For thou shalt no more be called the, the, the lady of kingdoms. To continue, you know, the Chaldeans were infamous for uh, their, their, their witchcraft. I was wroth with my people. I have polluted mine inheritance and given them into thine hand. So the most I gave us in, in the hands of these devils to punish us. Thou didst show them no mercy. Upon the ancient hast thou very heavily laid thy yoke. Because these devils, they, like I said, man, the scriptures show you that they went overboard with uh, the punishments, man. All the crazy stuff, man, that they did, raping uh, men, castrated them. You know, we ain't going to rape no Edomite, man. That's, that's filthy, man. That's abominations, man. And thou says, I shall be a lady forever, so that thou... Didst not lay these things to, heart, to thy heart, neither didst remember the latter end of it. So they don't even think about they're going to be uh, put down, man. Because, you know, their pride, they're, they're proud and their pride has uh, deceived them. Now, theref therefore, hear now this, thou that art given to pleasures, that dwellest carelessly, that says in thine heart, I am and none else beside me. I shall not set, sit as a widow, neither shall I know the loss of children. That's their mentality. But these two things shall come to thee in a moment in one day. The loss of children and widowhood, they shall come upon thee in their perfection. The most is going to surgically eradicate this devil, man. For the multitude of thy sorceries and for the great abundance of thine enchantments. For thou hast trusted in thy wickedness, thou hast said, none see it me. Thy wisdom and thy knowledge, it hath perverted thee. And thou hast said in thine heart, I am and none else beside me. The most I've seen them, man, doing all the wickedness that they do. You know, in these groves and, uh, you know, through the, the worshiping of Satan, the cutting up children, you know, drinking blood, you know, sacrificing uh, them to demons to get power. You know, they're Satanists, man. And they deal with the, with the left-hand side, with demons, man. They sacrifice to Satan. Therefore shall evil come upon thee. Thou shalt not know from whence it riseth. And mischief shall fall upon thee. Thou shalt not be able to put it off. They ain't going to nothing. They, they ain't going to be doing nothing against the judgment of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. <laughs> shall be weeping and gnashing of thief, man. And desolation shall come upon thee suddenly, which thou shalt not know. Stand now with thine enchantments and with thy multitude of, of thy sorceries, wherein thou hast labored from thy youth. You know, the founding fathers, Freemasons. It all goes back to Satanism, man. Idolatry. I so, if so be, thou shalt be able to profit. If so be, thou mayest prevail. But it ain't going to be like that, man. Let me just end it. Thou art wearied in the multitude of thy counsels. Let now the astrologers, the stargazers, the monthly prognosticators stand up. So the most I was saying, let, let them now, you know, get your uh, soothsayers and all y'all uh, people, you know, uh, that uh, deal with uh, familiar spirits. You know, let them, let them stand up now, man. And save thee from these things that shall come upon thee. Because the most I know, he's just mocking them like they ain't going to do shit, man. Behold, they shall be a stubble. You see, they're going to be burned up, man. The fire shall burn them. They shall not deliver themselves from the power of the flame. There shall not be a coal to warm at, nor fire to sit before it. It's going to be a desolation, a desert, empty. Thus shall they be unto thee, with whom thou hast labored, even thy merchants from thy youth. They shall wander every one to his quarter, and none shall shall save thee. So it ain't going to be none escaping from the judgment of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. And all these people that do business with America, they're going to see America being destroyed. And like in Revelation 18, they're going to be weeping. And But everyone's going to go to their own quarters, man. And prophecy is that, you know, they shall burn the whore. So they're going to fall apart. And Britain, with the other countries in the EU, they're going to turn against America and they're going to put uh, you know, their missiles and aim it 
against, you know, aiming towards uh, Babylon and going to be against them, man. They're going to be burned up, man. So this devil is falling. That's just symbolic of the future of this current rulership, man. So with that, I would like to say Shalom.